Hey guys, this is Twitch Acorn Sunday Winner. Today, guys, we are going to be unboxing, interviewing the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Edition DualShock 4 controller. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, before you even unbox it, I'm going to show you the back of it and read you off everything about the controller that you need to know. So if you can't read it, hopefully you can. Um, but I'm just going to read it off for you guys. So it has a touch pad that supports multi-touch, opens up new gameplay possibilities. All right, so that's about the touch pad right there. Anyway, we got the built-in speaker and a stereo um, headset jack, add new audio options. So, basically new audio options and better audio, I assume. Let's see, dual analog sticks and shoulder buttons retain that classic, ignorific, I cannot pronounce that, I'm sorry guys, feel while improving control. So basically improving how you play, having that good feeling to it, but it also improves, you know, how you play in the game, I guess basically saying let's see and it enables in enable games light bar combines with PlayStation camera to precise tracked players position and movements I'm not too sure about that but basically I remember with the DualShock 4 controller basically there was an option where you could um not an option but basically every time you get shot or something on the controller you it might show up your health is red on the screen well it also show up red on the controller right here so that's just something cool about it. And then the share button makes social interactions easy with instant instant gameplay with video and screen uploads. So basically all it is is talking about the share button. And honestly, I don't think there's a big improvement on the share button. I think it's just, you know, just the average share button. But anyway, let's go ahead and open this bad boy. I'm going to go ahead and just get the covering off of it. All right. So there we go. We have it unboxed. I'm just going to slide it out of its case there. Alright, so there we go. That's what it looks like when you get it out of the case. It looks pretty good, I guess, the covering for it, for what's holding it. I think it's pretty good. And let's go ahead and just take it off. Obviously, you can see through it. It fits to it perfectly. Same with the back. And now we're done with that. So now we have the controller itself. And obviously it's different. Um, we're going to be comparing the DualShock 4 controller and the um, put and the Black Ops 3 Edition controller and comparing them and seeing what their differences are. But honestly, this one honestly has a good look to it. Honestly, I like the orange on the analog sticks right over here. And same right here. I think it has a good look to that as well. Then we got the Black Ops 3 emblem. I thought that was a good thing that they added to it. And um, let's see. On the back, it's more of a black color, and honestly, I kind of like the like this type of black. I don't know, it just makes it look a lot better. I don't like the glossy black that they had on the PlayStation 4. That just that didn't work well, especially because you could get fingerprints on it and you could easily see it. But anyway, guys, we're gonna quickly compare them. So obviously, right here um, with the DualShock 4 controller, as we can see, there's not really many differences except for the analog sticks. And this is the one that comes with the PlayStation 4, so this is basically the generic version. So obviously the analog sticks are black, and same right here, it's good black, black as well. Um, and right here, this is something I noticed. This is a gray color on here, and this is black, whereas, and on the back as well, I believe. No, actually on the back, that's gray, and then that's a lighter gray. You can't really tell it just by looking at the camera. You might be able to see it, like if you look in person. I'm not really sure, but it kind of looks like there's a slight different color. If you look at the lighting, then you can see it. But anyways, that's really the main differences between it. I mean, other than that, I mean, the only difference is this right here. It's a black color. Same with the back. They're both the same colors as well. And honestly, the controller just feels good. I don't know why, just it feels good. And honestly, I'm looking forward to using it. So guys, we're fitting to jump into a video with the controller, testing out for the first time, seeing if it's really worth the money that we spent for it. So guys, we'll be back. All right, guys, we are back. And um, we are now using the... Um, Black Ops 3 Edition DualShock 4 controller. So guys, let's go and get started. Now guys, I'm not using my control freeze with this, so honestly, it's going to be a little bit different. I might not do as good as I typically would, but if I do, then hey, that's good. But I mean, I can't guarantee it's going to be good. But honestly, feeling it and playing with it is a whole lot different than just, you know, honestly just saying if it's, you know, looking at it and saying if it's good or bad or not. Honestly, I really think if you just play with it, that's the only way you can really tell if it's good or not. 
I know that might have been confusing, but, you know, basically the whole point I'm trying to say is play with it, and then you can get a better experience with it. Now, so far, it's doing pretty good, I will say that. But really, a controller, it all comes down to the player itself. Now, sometimes a player can be good, sometimes it can be bad, and also it comes down to, um, also comes down to, um, if they, um, you know, to the game you're playing in as well, and the other players in the game, that will really make it, um, to where if you're going to be doing good or bad or not, so... Just depends on your skills, I guess. And uh, the other player skills as well. I will say, honestly, with the with this controller, I don't even feel like I need to have the um the um control freaks. I mean it feels so natural. I mean honestly with the PlayStation 4, I really don't think you need control freaks. Just to be honest, maybe the ooh, gotta get out of here. Better get out of here. But yeah, honestly, you don't really need the DualShock 4 controller. Or not DualShock. Well, you definitely need that. But you don't need the control freaks. Honestly, just being honest here, you don't really need them. But they're, they're honestly good, and they feel good when you use them. Plus, it doesn't, if you have control freaks, you're less likely to wear out your uh, joysticks as well. Or analog sticks. Whatever you like to call them. I call them joysticks. There's a guy in here. Need to be cautious, though. Yep, and like I said, I wasn't cautious about it, and I died. Oh, I had a camo. I didn't realize that. Or invisibility, whatever you like to call it. C can't even remember what it's called. There we go. Let's get out of here. This guy's going to chase me down. I'm going to down if I'm not careful. Sorry if I go quiet sometimes, it's just I get really concentrated sometimes, and I won't even realize I'm not talking. So if I don't talk enough, I apologize. It's just I'm trying to do the best I can, and every time I attempt to do that, I always go quiet. And honestly, if you guys haven't noticed, when you watch YouTubers play, honestly, you think it might be easy for them to kind of just talk and play at the same time and casually play. But I mean, if you're really going hardcore, you, you mainly don't talk a lot because you're going to want to focus on the game. You see right there, if I wasn't paying attention, and I was co fo came, uh, focusing more on the commentary, I would have died. So, anyway, that's just a little fact for you guys. Just note that it's a lot harder than it looks, commentar commentating and playing a video game. Because it's really hard, because sometimes you don't know what you're going to be talking about. And sometimes you're also not going to be, you know, you might get, you might come to a standstill and you don't know. Like, you might, for example mess up and say something stupid like I just did, or pause and not know what to say. So honestly, YouTube is really hard at times, but it is super fun at, at the same time, so I'm not going to try to discourage anyone, I'm just saying be prepared that, you know, it's not easy, and I'm pretty sure you can ask any YouTuber about them, and with their uh, speech and everything, if they sometimes have messed up, and honestly, they'll probably say yes. You're never going to, 100% of the time, get your speech right when you're doing a video, so just know that. I know we went a little bit off track in this video with that, but... Just put a little bit of facts out there for you guys if you want to do YouTube. Honestly, it's really fun and I'd recommend it if you enjoy it and you think you could, you know, if you like, you know, making people laugh or you like just reviewing stuff, then hey, go for it. I mean, if you feel like that's something you're good at, then just do it because trust me, it's YouTube's a lot of fun and you'll do a lot better than you think you would. I mean, our channel, we ended up making like in a year 100 something subscribers. We only intended on making 10 subs. So really, um, after we did that, we were surprised. So honestly, try it, because trust me, it might be something that you're good at. So anyways, um, back to what we were talking about. Um, obviously, right now, we're doing pretty good. Oh, gosh, I say that and I nearly fall off. <laughs> we're doing pretty good. We're 11 and 4. That's not bad. I mean, especially for the first time using the controller. And to be honest, I haven't played Black Ops 3 in a few days. Actually, I played it last night, but that was zombies, not multiplayer. So, really... I think the controller has helped out just a little bit. Or maybe it's just, you know, I can't really say for sure if it is a controller or not. It might just be me or the players in the game, but honestly, I think it's just a really good controller overall. It feels great using it. It doesn't feel heavy, if that makes sense. It doesn't feel, but it doesn't feel light either. Obviously, um, if it's too heavy, um... It's just not going to... Honestly, I, I don't like heavy controllers, just to be honest. I like lighter controllers, but yet at the same time, I know lighter controllers are the controllers that are more likely going to break easier. So, honestly, it's just a balance. I like the controllers that are in the middle. It's not too heavy, not too light, just right. And honestly, this is controllers just like that. So, 
It's a really good controller. I give credit to Treyarch for making this. If they did make this, I'm pretty sure they did. I mean, it's a Black Ops 3 controller, so I'd assume they would. And by the way, you can get this controller with the Black Ops 3 Edition bundle. So if you guys want to go and get that, then you can get the controller as well. So if you just, but if you just want the controller, then it's about seventy dollars. Honestly, um, it's a little bit pricey. Honestly, I don't think it should have been just because it's a Black Ops 3 Edition controller. I don't think they needed to bring up the price by like ten, maybe. I really don't think that, but that's just my opinion. But you know, Treyarch has to make a profit as well because they're a company. So. Alright, 16 and 8. Let's go invisible for a second. Honestly, when you use the invisibility, it helps out a lot. Especially if you're going to run into an area where um, there's a huge horde of people. If you have a lot of people in one area, it's good to have the specter and go invisible. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Well, anyway, guys, I can't believe we just, the game ended and it killed us. But anyway, guys, honestly, um, the controller is really good. Honestly, I really think it is. Um, I don't really know if the controller, like, if there's anything significantly different with the controller, how it's made. That's why it feels so good when you play it. Or how it plays, I really don't know. Hey, there's us on the, on the third place slot. Aw. Well, anyway, guys, um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Honestly, um, is it worth the money? It's really up to to you guys. In my opinion, yes, it's worth it. But really, it all comes down to you guys. If you think, hey, this is a good controller, and you want to use it, buy it. Honestly, you won't. You honestly, it's good, and you'll enjoy it. And at the same time, if you don't like it, then you're not going to be missing out a lot. Honestly, it's just an average controller. Just to being honest here, there isn't anything major, majorly significant about it. I mean. Now, if it was a scuff controller, that'd be completely different. Scuff controllers are honestly, they make huge differences with that. But honestly, this, this controller is just a regular plain controller. So honestly, I'd say it is worth the money. If you like, if you're a big Black Ops 3 fan, then yes, it's worth it. But if you're not a big Black Ops 3 fan and you just want to have an average controller, then just keep the one you got with your PS4. But anyway, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you like it, please hit the like button, subscribe for more content. And anyway, guys, we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.